right, guys. Well, here I am working on my art show right now. And so trying to get something going uh, at a gallery. And I wanted to show what I do to prepare to pitch to a gallery. And one of the things I do here is I, you know, I get really prepared. I'm also a toy designer. And so every day I do pitches and I make concept designs. And so one thing I'm doing here, you can see, so my, my art show is called Mini Boss. So here's a, here's a front page and here it's my castle character, right? And you've all seen the castle character before, but I'm trying to do an art show where I have multiple versions of this character. And so what I'm doing here is I've created a front page, obviously like an intro, intro page. Anything that I'm not sure about, I put preliminary or put not final on there. So this date here, I don't know if that's going to be the date, but um, that's my idea of when I want the date to drop. Um, I've got like a little evolution of castle page here. So this is kind of like my uh, logos. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna drop this page, honestly. This is all, uh, you know, just while I'm doing it. So I'm in the middle of doing this. Um, this is the main idea for the show. This is, uh, so they're, they're like different toy sculpts. You know, this, this here is my, my 3D version. So I've got, you know, toys I'm making. They're four inch figures, but I also wanna do an extra large one and I want to do an extra, extra large one that'll be like the centerpiece for the show. And so what I'm doing here is I'm showing the gallery like what's gonna be involved. Even though I don't have the actual stuff to show, I wanna show them what's gonna be there, how much it's gonna sell for, uh, you know, what I'm offering as an artist to bring to the table. And this gives them a visualization of like, what's what's gonna be there, like what, what, what can we expect? You know, they're not blindly going into this. They have an idea of what I'm trying to do here. So I have, you know, this centerpiece one. There will only be one of those. It'll just be this big sculpture. And I have a friend who I've been talking to who said he could help me make this. And, um, you know, maybe I'll have to split the profits with him. You know, I'm just trying to figure out as I go. I got these 12 inch flip figures. I'm going to only do four or five of those. I put a run of a time six, but you know, it's possible I only do four, you know, I'm gonna do what I can. But for now, I'm gonna pitch to the gallery that there'll be six. And then these four inch figures will be a hundred of them. So it's times a hundred and they go from 40 to $150 at the price point. It's good for them to see different price points. Different price points give different buyers an option. And everybody wants to get the best thing that they can, especially when they're buying art. And with anything, you know, you wanna get the best value, you wanna get the best thing you can. If you buy a car, you want to get the best one you can afford to buy, right? So in this case, I'm giving people options. If people can only afford the $40 toy, then this is an option for them to get this, this toy. Um, if they want to go for the $150 ones, that'd probably be a hand-painted one, and that'll be uh, you know a little more expensive, but most people can probably afford $150. The 12-inch figure, on the other hand, is going to be, they're going to be only four of them. They're going to have something different. I'm going to add like maybe a snake wrapped around it, so it'll be like a different sculpt, and it'll be bigger, and it'll be a little more detail, and it'll be just really cool resin cast, so it might have different colors, something interesting like sparkly glitter or something like that inside. Anyway, it's just a lar like a larger one foot tall version. And so I'll only have a few of those available. And then the large one will be one of a kind. Then I have my NFTs dropping. So I'm gonna at drop those the same day of the show. This gives incentive for people who can't come to the show to participate in some way buying NFTs. Uh, maybe that I can have, maybe I can offer something like a roadmap Roadmaps are great because it creates like a cycle of, of buyers, right? So, so if I can't be at the show, I can buy an NFT and maybe that will guarantee me one of the 100 unique toys casted, right? So, or maybe this will guarantee them uh, entry into the show. Or if people are on the other side of the world and they can't make it to the show at all, then they can just buy the NFT and, and in some ways they were able to participate. They don't miss out on the opportunity and there'll be 10,000 of these, but I'm not just gonna drop the NFTs, I'm also gonna have prints of some of the best NFTs too. So these prints will be, you know, maybe 50 times, I put X50 on each of these, maybe 50 of each, and you know, I have a friend that also works in printing, I'm gonna try to 
hit him up, and if not, I'll have to pay for them out of pocket. But at least I have something I can go on. Okay, so these NFT prints give incentive to buy the NFTs also. So the NFTs, maybe when you buy the higher tier NFTs, you can get a free print or you can get a free toy. Or the other way around, if you buy the toy or you buy the print, you'll get one of the NFTs. So this creates a roadmap and it creates a cycle of buyers so that buyers can save on something, participate in one if they can't if they can't afford the expensive stuff, they can buy some of the cheaper stuff. Then I also just have uh, poster prints and I'm, I'm probably gonna put one more right here. Um, these are just alternative prints that don't really have anything to do with the NFTs or maybe this one, it's sort of like a, a poster for maybe for the show or whatever. Anyway, what I'm what I'm trying to do is just create some kind of roadmap so all these things connect so the gallery sees potential for all this stuff. Basically, you can put together something like this and you can close it down into a PDF and you can pitch it to a gallery or you can pitch it to your local skate shop or your local tattoo parlor or whatever if you wanted to, if you had to. This is something that, you know, put together something uh, professional so you can pitch to gallery and this is what I'm doing for my mini boss show. Anyway, thanks guys. Thank <laughs> you.